All right, we're picking up pretty much exactly where we left off with the last one. Um, we're going to do some interior walls now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on my house right here. I'm just going to zoom right in on it. And we're going to get it it's pretty well centered in our screen. And I just use my mouse wheel to roll in and out, and I push my mouse wheel down to pan a little bit. So I'm going to go back to my wall tool. Well, I need to change my wall to interior wall. So right here where my cursor's at, I want to change that to be interior walls. Now, when I do that, I also want to change my materials. Now, I used this tool last time, the settings dialog. I can also control that right here along this slide bar. So if I pull this up, I can actually go in here and tell it 2 by 4 wood studs with 5 8, five eight inch gypsum. That's a default one. So I'm just going to pick it. Now, if I want to, I'm going to go back in here to dialog anyway to show you a couple things. One, I don't want siding on any of my walls. So I'm going to change this from siding to default interior wall. So that means everything's a default interior wall right there. I'm going to go OK. And now I can start drawing. Now, in this case, I'm going to draw a wall that comes right off that corner. Now, we never ever framed how it's showing this. Notice how the frame right here, it's coming off that corner, but it's not actually framed to the corner. They just touch at the edge. So I'm going to flip that wall over. Now it's doing what I want it to do. I'm going to come up straight up my page or up my screen, oh, to about halfway. Now, if I want to get exactly halfway, I can, but for right now, I'm just going to slap it out here. I, I'm holding my shift key down, so I get a straight wall. Now, I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. Attach a wall right here. There's the midpoint where that little line appears. Drag it straight out. I'm going to flip this one over again. Okay, bring it straight out to perpendicular, and click. Now, I want to trim this off. So I'm going to get my arrow tool out, and if I hold my, sh my control key down, I can trim a wall. That's easy. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to make a little uh, wall right here. And I'm just going to slap it in. I'm going to eyeball it right now. I'm just going to put a wall right there until it come out this way two feet. Because a closet is typically two feet deep. So I'm just going to put a two foot wall out there. So just two, enter. Hook onto that one. Come straight up. There he is. Now I'm going to use a grip edit at this point. I'm going to click on this wall I just made. I'm going to grab him by this grip edit right here, this little circle. And I'm going to drag it straight down here to perpendicular to this bottom wall. I've now made my coat closet and my bedroom closet. I just need a door in it. The only other thing I've got to do is put in a bathroom right here. Well, my bathroom wall, you know, I'm just going to use an old tool here. I'm just going to draw a wall that's going to be a sacrificial wall. comes out five feet. I'm just going to take that wall, come straight down, and then I'm going to erase this original wall I did. Okay, that's the easiest way to do some of these. Um, you can tell it to offset and things, but I just did it the old-fashioned easy way. Now, there's all my interior walls. I want you to go through your plans when you get done with this and put in all of your interior walls. Again, we're all working right here on the first floor. We haven't done anything except first floor. We haven't touched an elevation. We haven't touched a section. We haven't touched a second floor. We haven't even done a slab yet. Okay, and the slab is going to be the floor of the house. Now, to, and that's all we're worried about, walls right now. Now, the last thing I'm going to tell you before I dismiss is this. I am going to say, remember, everything we're drawing here is three-dimensional. These are not two-dimensional surfaces. We're looking straight down on it from above. That's why it shows up this way. Okay, they have thickness, they have height, they have depth. So we got to worry about all that stuff as we're drawing. Okay, now good luck, and we'll talk to you later.